Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading. Uh, this is going to be for Gemini for the second half of your March from the 16th to the 31st. We are going to take a look at uh, take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys regarding love and the person that you are connecting with, and then we will take a look at your person to see what their current true feelings and intentions are towards you, and then we'll finish off the read with the. Um, possible outcome advice. What else do you guys need to know? Um, you can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, you could apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Uh, give this video a thumbs up like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals uh, that need to hear this. Uh, you could share this video or uh, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link for that is in the description box below. Okay, so Gemini, let's get started. Over energies for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini regarding love and the person that they are connecting with for the uh, second half of their March from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini here. Oh. So we have the sun that jumped out and then we have the strength both Leo energy with these cards here. So you could be dealing with a Leo, okay, Gemini, or that you might have Leo in your chart. All right. We have the Queen of Wands and the Four of Pentacles. Someone here is seeing their self-worth here, I feel. I feel like whoever this is, we have someone here that's holding back and not really communicating to anyone at this point. So this could be you, this could be someone else, could be both of you guys. Um, we have the Three of Wands here and the Star. So I feel like we have one person here. Someone here is looking towards their future. So I feel like we, I, I'm getting a very singles, like a uh, singles vibe energy right now. Someone here is focusing on their future. Someone here is focusing on their healing. Someone here is learning the lessons. Okay, listening to what the universe is um, showing someone or telling someone here. Okay. What else do we have here? So energies we have here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. You could be dealing with any of those energies. You could have those energies in your chart. Um, yeah, I really feel like right now you're trying to heal and I feel like you're trying to protect your heart space, your heart chakra. That could be wounded, okay? Uh, the sun with the six of pentacles. Right now, I feel like you're really redirecting all your energies to yourself right now and not worrying about anyone else, okay? Strength card. We have the hangman, uh, Piscean energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces. You have completely pulled back your energy. And basically, like I said, you're redirecting the energy to yourself right now, okay? There's an energy of surrendering, just allowing things to be and no longer controlling, okay? Queen of Wands. And then we have the Page of Swords here, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You know, I feel like you are right now in this energy of learning things, okay? So I would not be surprised if you guys are taking a class, taking a course or something like that, you know, maybe learning about, you know, spirituality or something like that, okay? Um, you know, this page of swords is also an energy of also uh, perhaps someone here is spying on you, all right? Or you're spying on this person. But there's definitely no communication between you and your person right now. Uh, Four of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups. Yeah, I really feel like you've emotionally given a lot, given a lot to this person. Um, I feel like you were really caring and nurturing towards this person, okay? And I really feel like you were trying to show this person a fun time. But I, I, I feel like maybe this person just didn't give that back to you. Let's see. Yeah, we have temperance here. So like I said, I feel like you're focusing on your healing here. You're focusing on your spiritual growth and your personal growth right now. Tell me about the star. We have the two of pentacles, okay? 
Look at the Nine of Wands. Yeah, I feel like you're really hurt by this individual, really wounded by this individual. This person could have withdrawn from you or didn't keep their promises, okay? Um, whatever is going on here, I feel like the person that you were dealing with here was not very reliable, okay? Yeah, you know, I feel like for a while you were weighing the pros and cons whether you should leave or not, but I feel like you decided to leave. Um, tell me about the person that uh, Gemini is dealing with here. What is this person's current true feelings and intentions towards Gemini for the second half of their march from the 16th to the 31st? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Gemini. Alright, Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. Someone here is looking back at their mistakes here. This person is looking at, back at their mistakes for hurting you, I feel. Okay? Um, we have the Chariot, Cancer, Energy, and the Eight of Cups. This person regrets walking away, I feel. Okay? The Chariot, Cancer, Energy. This person might have impulsively decided to run away. Um, and I feel like this person is regretting that. We have the Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, okay? And then we have the Nine of Pentacles, Virgo Energy, Pre-Empress Energy. This person sees you as someone who, who's very nurturing. It, I'm feeling like this person miss ha misses, uh, misses or miss having you around, okay? Having you around to nurture them, to take care of them, you know, to shower them with, you know... Um, you know, your energy, your, your, your gifts, or whatever that may be, this person misses that, okay? Seven of Pentacles. You know, the world. Their mistake cost them a pre-empress, I feel, or a queen of cups. You know, a lovely queen here. Three of swords and a five of wands. Seems like this person was maybe dealing with other people here too. Doesn't have necessarily have to be romantic. Um, but, you know, this person might have deal been dealing with family members that was getting in the way, friends that were getting in the way here. Could be romantic. You could apply this to your own unique situation. Tell me about the chariot. We have the death card, Scorpio energy. Eight of cups and the moon, Cancer Pisces energy. I feel like this person ran off because this person doesn't want to basically, this person didn't want you to figure out what they were hiding from you, okay? And I feel like what this person was hiding from you was maybe a third party. I mean, like I said, it could be romantic, it could be family members, it could be friends, it could be, you know, work, it could be drugs or something like that. Um, Queen of Cups, we have the Seven of Swords, you know? So I feel like this person really took advantage of you, okay? And I feel like right now this queen or this pre-empress is in this energy of protecting themselves and trying to get away. Um, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person, whoever this is, Gemini, this person's finding you like incredibly attractive, okay? Um, but I feel like this person is very insecure. This person might be attached to their bad behavior that co caused this big explosion here uh, regarding your connection. Um, what, what else do we have here for Gemini regarding their uh, connection here? What is the possible outcome and advice here for Gemini regarding their connection here with their person? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. What else does Gemini need to know? What else does Gemini need to know? Um, we have the Ten of Pentacles. We have someone here that wants a relationship here with you, but I feel like this person knows not to bother you with the Knight of Swords in the reverse. So Gemini could be dealing with another Gemini here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants a relationship with you. This person misses you. This person misses you, misses ha miss having you around, but this person knows not to bother you right now, okay? Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like you gave this person a lot of stability, okay? And I feel like this person really took you for granted, okay? We have the Eight of Swords here and the King of Wands. So I feel like this person is fearing that they're going to lose you. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. This person is fearing that they will lose you. 
Yeah, this person's really in their head about this, okay? This person's really creating these scenarios that seem to be coming true in a way. Yeah, uh, Ten of Pentacles. We have the King of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. I think there are some true pairs here. I do. I, I think the Queen of Swords did come out, right? I think. I can't see them. No Queen of Wands. Oh, King to the Queen of Wands, okay? I don't... Oh, no, the Queen of Swords is not here. No, no, not here. Okay, I thought the Queen of Swords was out. Just kidding. Okay, hold on a sec. Uh, we do have, I think we saw the King of Pentacles. It didn't come out, but it was kind of like under the deck. Uh, uh, Knight of Swords in the reverse. We have the Four of Cups, yeah. We have someone here, this king knows that if you, if they did come forward to you, that you will reject them. Nine of Wands. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this person is tired of other people getting involved or tired of people getting pulled into your guys' connection. Queen of Pentacles. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles here. So I feel like we have someone here that has put in a lot of effort and work into this connection and they feel like this queen has completely pulled back, or this pre empress has completely pulled back. You know, the Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, King of Wands, and the Five of Cups. Yeah, this person's in regret. This person is fearing that you will never respond to them or that you'll never accept their apology. We have someone here that's definitely thinking about this connection, definitely wanting a second chance, but they know not to bother you because. You're in this energy of doing your own work now, taking care of yourself. They're probably seeing you very happy and they don't want to disrupt that. So, um, Gemini, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video. If you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.